the last section we verified that whenever we called our action creator from our list item component we saw the action appear inside of our selection reducer so now it's just up to us to make sure that whenever this thing sees an action of type select library it will return the actions payload which is the library's ID instead of null okay so that's all we have to do I'm going to remove the two lines I have in here right now and instead I'm going to replace this with some boilerplate that we're going to see for just about every single reducer that we ever create okay by convention every reducer that we create is going to have a switch statement inside of it that is going to switch over the actions type so the reason that we do this is to have one very nice very easy to read statement to figure out what this reducer does and more importantly what actions it responds to in our case our action or excuse me our reducer res needs to respond to an action of type select library so I, I will add in a case of select library like so I also want it to respond to the default case so if I ever get an action coming through here that is not of type select library I need to handle that case as well so if a action comes through with type like I don't know melt motherboard or something you know I don't know something something crazy like that I need to make sure that I still return something from this reducer because remember all of my reducers can run many times throughout my applications lifecycle and I need to make sure that they always return some non undefined value if I ever return undefined from a reducer redux is going to throw an error so now by default if this action creator is ever or excuse me if this reducer is ever called with an action that it does not care about it will return whatever it returned the last time that it ran so if a mysterious action comes through here with a type we don't call it care about just return whatever state we returned last time and remember the state argument right here is the state that was returned from the last time that the redux or from the reducer ran now how about the case in which the action is of type select library well in that case we want to return the actions payload property because inside of our action creator if you recall I'm going to flip over to our action creator file we gave our action of type select library a payload of the library's ID that was selected because we called the action creator itself with that library ID so now inside my reducer whenever the action is of type select library I want to return that library's ID the last thing I have to do in here is make sure that I handle the very default or like first initialization case of this reducer so the very first time this reducer runs and remember as we saw in the console just a second ago when Redux first boots up it runs all of my reducers I need to make sure that I return some non undefined value from my reducer the first time it runs state will be called with a value of undefined so if I just let this thing run by itself I will end up returning undefined which is going to result in an error so to get around that I will always provide an initial state default argument so this is going to be a little piece of ES6 right here what this says right here is if this argument or if this argument right here is undefined we should instead default it to the value of null so instead of returning undefined as our initial state we will return null which means essentially in our case I do not have a currently selected library like just continue on I don't have a selected library right now okay so I know this reducer stuff is a little bit crazy well, probably a lot crazy I mean I'll be totally honest with you it's super crazy fortunately we are going to get so much practice with reducers because they're the absolute core of every redux application so again just like earlier when we went through uh, JS Playground and we were just kind of you know finagling around with uh, Redux a little bit even at this point in time I do not expect you to be a master of Redux I do not expect you to be able to rewrite all this code right here uh, from scratch without any type of reference in the next app that we build we will definitely go through reducers action creators actions again in great 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 detail so if it's still confusing do not sweat at all we're gonna get a lot of practice with it okay so at this point in time if I refresh my simulator and then start clicking on these different things I don't get any feedback right now but in theory I have a piece of state called selected library ID that is being changed every time I click on one of these lines right here 
So the last thing that we have to do is make sure that whenever a particular's library ID is equal to the currently selected library ID, we expand a given row. So let's take care of that in the next section.